You already know what it is. That's right, this is a Keychron mechanical keyboard. A first in the AXO Studios. My name is Terry and welcome back to the channel, guys. So the Keychron K-Series mechanical keyboards has been immensely popular in the mechanical keyboard industry in the whole scene and because of the value that they offer to the consumers with these really really good quality keyboards and the one we have here today is the Keychron K3 now this is this isn't something that's standard with Keychron keyboards because they make more standard keyboards and this here is a ultra low profile mechanical keyboard that is made, in my opinion, made for the person who's always on the go. Someone who's you know, traveling often or working like a nomad. So this would be great for them. I myself, I don't see myself using a mechanical keyboard like this at home because I prefer something that's more, something that's bigger, I guess. Yeah, this thing is supremely ultra extremely low profile so yeah. just judging from the box you already know this is ultra ultra thin so keychron k3 here uh, which we'll get to in a bit let's see what else is in the box some quick start guide instructions on how to change some of the uh, layouts this is a dual os compatible mechanical keyboard so it supports windows as well as macOS. And speaking of macOS, these are the additional keycaps that would uh, that can be switched up on the keyboard itself. Uh, basically, indicate whether you're using a Mac or a Windows system with it. Low profile keycaps. There's also the switch and keycap cooler here, as well as a USB Type C cable. It is braided, feels good, nice quality, and also a quick start guide and the user manual. So yeah, that's basically it in the box. Now let's take a closer look at the keyboard itself. So I'm covering this film. Keyboard is further protected by another plastic tray. There you have it. This is the Keychron K3. I would say 75% keyboard, 84 keys. So you still get the arrow keys here and the right shift is slightly shorter to accommodate all the keys into this, the, this size right here. And there's also the extra four keys, which is the page up, page down, as well as the home and end buttons. You still get a full-size backspace key here with a smaller delete key up here. And this button on the top corner here is for RGB. In signature key crown colors, the escape key features a bright orange design, whereas the rest of the keys feature a dark and light gray color profile. As you can see, this is an extremely low profile keyboard from the chassis itself down to the switches and the keycaps as well. Now, if you compare it with the uh, ASUS ROG Falcon that I have here, which is also wireless, half of that. So, yeah. Not only does it support uh, Windows and Mac, it also supports both wired and wireless uh, connectivity. Now wired, you can use the USB Type-C port which you can connect at the back in the center here or you can use the wireless mode uh, which is Bluetooth instead of 2.4 GHz uh, wireless and yeah, Bluetooth connection to connect with your laptop, desktop or even your phone if you like it and there is multi-point supported so you can actually switch easily switch between three devices, three Bluetooth devices uh, by pressing the FN key and the uh, one, two, three buttons. These indicate which device it's going to connect to. So you have to remember which device is connected at one, two, and three. So there are also additional media keys that are embedded onto the function row on the top here. So on the back here, you get two switches to change between the Windows and Mac uh, OS layouts. And another one is to either turn off or switch to cable wired mode or to the Bluetooth wireless mode. Now on the bottom, there are four rubber feet on uh, each corner with one in the middle here. And the height adjustment is two levels. So actually there's uh, one which is the highest one. And then there's another one which is a smaller one right below within the same adjuster. So obviously this 
keyboard has a very compact design and it is going to fit into uh, any backpack or even a handbag I mean maybe slightly larger handbag uh, easily no problems it's lightweight it's definitely under 500 grams in terms of RGB wait, let's turn it on you guys probably can see but, but we'll show it to you later in the video so in terms of RGB it has more than 15 uh, lighting profiles for you to choose from you can cycle them through and uh, choose which ones you like and in terms of battery it has a 1550 mAh battery capacity inside here which is actually really impressive considering how thin the keyboard is according to Keychron without the backlight turned on the keyboard can last for up to two weeks with a single charge so that is all for a quick unboxing of the Keychron K3 uh, mechanical keyboard that we have here. We hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for staying all the way to the end of the video. My name is Terry. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Before we go, do enjoy the sound test.